I'm here today, Jay Rogers in San Francisco, and your names, gentlemen. I'm Daryl Hutchison. Daryl? Paul Kalarik. Hey, Paul. I'm Jay Rogers, and we're here today asking Daryl and Paul about cars in San Francisco. We're going to have about six questions today, guys. And so the first question is, where are you both from originally? I'm from Monterey Bay here in California. Oh, so close by. Mm -hmm. Delaware. You, and from Delaware. But lived in San Francisco long enough to know the city? Since 1996. So you know it pretty well. Mm -hmm. doesn't take long. It's a lovely city. Thank you. I lived here for several, many years my my life, and I love it too. So tell me both, each of you, what are your favorite things about the city? Uh, I like the diversity of food and people and lifestyle. Cool. And you, Paul? I would agree with that, and I also like the natural beauty of the Bay Area. Mm -hmm. It's a big thing. So what make and model car do you gents currently drive? I drive a BMW 325. A BMW 325. And how old is it? Uh, it's a good city car. It's eight years old. Cool. And you? I have an Audi. Oh, we're looking at it. T 2.0. 2 2.0 <laughs> T. A, a, Great. A, so it's kind of a, 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 a wagon, yeah. a small yes. wagon, so to speak. Um, and so uh, about those cars, how often do you find yourself using your car? I didn't even know you had a car. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not twice, a lot. Twice a week. <laughs> twice a week. Okay. And you? Every day. I, I'm Every a regular. Day. Yeah, so you don't use public transportation that much? You no, know, I do. If I'm going like downtown or something where it's congested, it's not convenient to park. Or But you need yeah. both is what you're saying. Yeah, sure. Okay. And so, uh, um, uh, and you? I take public tra transportation sometimes too. Okay, great. So you use both. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, um, if the city, you know, sort of was split between things, we'd like to kind of ask a little bit of a different thing. Where in the city do you relax? Where in the city do you have fun? Where in the city do you get inspiration? So I'd say rela we're at one of the most beautiful places in San Francisco to relax, which is Chrissy Field. Chrissy Field. And yeah. could you tell us about Chrissy Field? Chrissy Field is a uh, former... Uh, it's the waterfront that runs between Fort Point, the, at the, under the Golden Gate Bridge, down to Fort Mason. Okay. And um, it's kind of a, it's a beachfront, picnic tables, it's part of the park service here. It's and for inspiration, is this, this where you come? Uh, absolutely, because uh, it clears your mind and uh, allows you to uh, think. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and Daryl, what about you? I live in a different neighborhood, so I think Golden Gate Park is probably where I go the most often for relaxation. I hear that they have bison in Golden Gate Park. Is that true? They do. Yeah. Why would a city park have buffalo in the, uh, in the park? Um, I don't know why they have it. <laughs> Good question. Why do you know. go to Golden I Gate Park? I never pondered it. Um, I go to, for a variety of reasons, there's museums and there's trails and there's boating and biking and roller skating and a lot of athletic activities, tennis. Cool. I, yeah. We've heard that they, uh, it's been on a lot of papers and some of the members of our community have pointed out this new California Academy of Sciences. Yeah, it's fantastic. Is it fantastic? Sure. Have you been? Yes, many times. Wow. So what's fantastic about it? What makes it special? It looks very special in the pictures. Mm -hmm. Makes it special. Um, the living roof? Oh, the, right, the living roof. They've got a... Um, what's a living roof? It's a, it's a planted... A sod roof. Oh, it's got some it's grass on the roof. with indigenous species from the Bay Area. That's right. And it's uh, what seven hills on the roof that um, represent the seven hills of San Francisco. Oh, see, now you're, wow. you're, now now you're in a master's it. class. I didn't realize that. <laughs> and they've got a wonderful that. 3D movie, and they've got a, a world-class aquarium, and they have um, modern exhibits. Yeah, they've got the penguin exhibit, and they have the big... Uh, Rainforest. Um, yeah, I didn't. Uh, I just didn't line for that. I couldn't bear the line. The biosphere, line. whatever it's called, in the center, and a yes. wonderful restaurant and classes for kids, and that's great. It sounds like a very special place. Yeah, it is. San Francisco has a lot of special places. Okay, so sort of a final question is, and this is always hard to do, is to think out of the box about what it is that you would like the most in a car in San Francisco. If you could have anything you wanted, don't imagine. Don't. Don't. Don't constrain yourself to think, I can't have that because it would cost too much. I would like to have so what would you a like, car that is small enough to be able to parallel park without a problem. Okay. So that um, available parking spaces are accessible for this car because often it's tight. Okay. Parking is a premium here. Mm -hmm. 
Also, I would like something that I feel safe in if someone would hit me. You know, I see the smart cars around, and yes, they are easy mm -hmm. to park, but I just feel that if you were in a smart car and were in an accident, uh, be ugly. likely to be hurt, yeah. Okay. So, um, so parking is a premium for you, safety is a premium for you. Yes. And uh, anything else? What about uh, style or what well, about Clearly you want something that's or... stylish. I don't feel comfortable. I also don't like the looks of a smart car. Okay. I don't want something that's mm -hmm. classic with... Um, uh, Luxury finishes. Uh, yeah, high-end finishes mm -hmm. and uh, what else would we want in a car? I want good gas mileage. <laughs> so efficiency is important to you. Yeah, I need good gas mileage because it's expensive, and yeah, yeah, and I, I, you need it for work, so I need something that's you know get good gas mileage. I think and luxury finishes make sense to me, and sophistication. It should look sophisticated. It should look sophisticated. So you yes. want something that embodies some. Style. I like the little backup camera so that um, when beepers right. so back up, you know how close you're getting to the bumper. Yeah. I think that's important. Uh huh. Because there's a lot in San Francisco. Absolutely. Where odd angles and that kind of thing. You're right. not quite a sure where you are. Right. A lot of hills. And that's <laughs> right. How about performance of the car? Does it need to be? I'm, a, I'm only really a city driver, so you know you've got to be confident. You know when your uh, good turning radius is important when you're mm -hmm. turning radius to get a parking space. Manual, automatic? Only automatic for me. Only automatic. You? Yeah. Because I guess manual's hard in the city. Yeah, it's hills. a pain. Yeah, and then nice. you burn out the clutch on all the hills and yeah. things. So yeah. manual makes a lot of sense. Automatic. You, mean. you know, I'm, yes, I'm automatic. Sorry. It'd be nice to have the option of having uh, having it made as a sedan for because you have friends and, and groceries and you don't want people crawling like I have a two-door now but yeah. it's, it's not so practical I wouldn't do that again yeah it's nice to be able to open a back door and someone get in rather than crawl and um, when you have groceries or it'd be nice to have a collapsible back seat mm -hmm. to create a little That's more like right so to have a little more trunk room put some, a piece of furniture in there <laughs> right there we go antiques exactly. yeah, you have lots of different things well people do we've seen now already as I've interviewed about 20 people around the city there's so much that people do but there's a common thread in everything there is activity music sports right. uh, hobbies and and though everyone uses public transportation everybody needs a car yes. which is amazing uh, and uh, so different from New York you can't or Boston transport or things on public transportation. You need the car to transport. I wouldn't go to the grocery store on public transportation. I wouldn't uh, go to a, a I wouldn't go to a social event on public transportation. So it would be either I drive or I call a taxi cab. Great. So well gentlemen, thank you.